This problem can be solved using either forces and torques or work and energy. Here I'll use work and energy because that method avoids solving two equations for two unknowns. We start by writing down the work and energy equation, work done by other forces, plus the initial kinetic energies, translational and rotational, plus the initial potential energy, equals the sum of the final energies. If we identify this as the initial state, when nothing's moving, then the hoop descends through a distance h, picking up a final rotational speed, omega f, and a final translational speed of its center, phi sub f. And now we can come up and evaluate terms on the left-hand side. In the initial state, nothing's moving, so the initial translational and rotational kinetic energies are both zero. If we identify this level as y equals zero, there's no potential energy in the initial state. And in between the initial and final states, there's no work done by other forces. So on the left-hand side, we just have zero, and that equals the sum of energies on the right-hand side. In the final state, we can relate the two things we're asked for using the expression Vf equals R omega F, which holds because the hoop rolls without slipping on the string. Now we can evaluate terms on the right-hand side of the equation. The final translational kinetic energy is 1 half m v f squared. The final rotational kinetic energy is 1 half i omega f squared. And the hoop has descended a height h, so it has a final potential energy of minus mgh. Now we can rewrite the center term on the right-hand side, substituting in the moment of inertia of a hoop, that's mr squared and replacing omega f, the final rotational speed, with v over r, canceling the r's, and then canceling all the m's, solving for the square of the final translational speed. We can solve part b then by taking the square root, substituting values, and calculating. Finding that the hoop's center is moving at 2.71 meters per second, after it's fallen through a height of 0.75 meters. Part A asks us for the final angular speed. We solve for that and substitute the numbers, finding that when the center is translating at 2.71 meters per second, the hoop is rotating about that center at 33.9 radians per second.